Uh, the city council has a uh, law, or is it a city law, I guess, that uh, city council can meet uh, an executive session to, to, to discuss, quote unquote, general plans for the future or general issues before the city. Mm -hmm. They can do this uh, apparently four times a year, and it, it, it kind of contradicts state sunshine law. What do you think about uh, that, um, that law and whether or not it should uh, continue? And we'll go around this time, this, this way this time, we'll start with T. As far as I'm concerned, I don't understand the purpose of those, of what those four sessions are being used for. If they're being used for discussing legal issues and personnel issues, things that need to be discussed behind closed doors, <coughs> then fine. If it's other things that are being discussed that should be public and open to everyone, then I think that they're unnecessary. I, you know, the Sunshine Laws exist to help drive a, uh, an environment of transparency. And I would just say that whatever we can do to remain uh, in compliance, we should. Uh, Julie? Um, it's, I understand the personnel issues, like two people are fighting and the, the, you know, that's private, you know, it, it can't be publicized. But the other things, I definitely think they should be publicized because people are, again, people are getting more actively interested and involved and so many people are running for city council because we're concerned about the direction of the city. We're concerned about how our money is being spent. Taxes keep going up, and that is what is making people so exercised and interested, and we need to have everything <coughs> out there in the open. And I, so I think it's important to, to publicize, to have those meetings open, but also that's why something like Open Checkbook would be so helpful. Like we have a suite of Open Gov products, but they're very hard to navigate, and you can't find specific things. So like even, for example, the 2 point salary increase, it's all in, all these program expenses, like you wouldn't know it unless you looked at the notes. So if we had open checkbook, you could see stuff like that. Okay, Mary, I think the last uh, session you had like that, you had uh, a public relations firm in there, so I don't know why you would want to talk in private about that, but what do you think about that, uh, that law? Oh, um, that was a, the strategic operations review where they were making recommendations that would affect the employees of the city that might have, you know, those are things that have to be negotiated with a lot of the uh, employees because they're union employees. Um, but doesn't that come under the regular Sunshine Law exemptions that are in the state code? Why would you need a, a law, a city law saying so, that's so broad, it gives you such a broad... Uh, I was trying to think what we had met about that fell within that category. Um, let me just be clear, the committee of the whole meetings are actually open to the public, mm -hmm. they're not televised but there have been increasing numbers of people sitting around the room listening in on that and paying attention to what's going on. Um, so it's not that they're closed, it's just that they aren't, they, we don't do it in a big room where lots of people Oh yeah, I know the, the, those committee meetings are open, but we're talking about the, the, and then the, the executive, executive sessions yeah. that, that you, know, you can meet four times a year to talk about general things. I didn't know we were meeting four times a year. Now. Well, you have the opportunity to yeah. do that. Um, well, the, the future, so we are in the engagement of a master planning process at, at present, and that needs to be as open as possible, I think, because that's uh, supposed to come up with a vision for the city, amongst other things. It, obviously, uh, it's supposed to be broader than just the city council members having what our vision is. It's not just what we think, it's the whole community. So there's going to be at least three public meetings to get public input and there was a, a survey that was done last year. So a lot is going to go into that that will contribute to a vision and to uh, what we want to do with the community. So we are engaged in a process right now to create that. And well, and the, again though, the, that doesn't address the question. Okay. The cable you want to take? Yeah, I, I think that if it is not in compliance with the Sunshine Law of Ohio, it's illegal. I don't know if that's the case, but for the time they meet in, they should uh, open to the public and, and why, is, if it's not a private issue, why you just guide and come out and... I, the, the issue here, I'm what I'm raising... what we've done. Yeah, I'm raising the question is like, maybe it's not only personal down there. That's what the population believes. Something else is behind there. And it's against the Sunshine Law. I think the city needs to look into that. If all these candidates, uh, including myself, we will look to it. I think the city is not in compliance with Sunshine Law regarding this issue. Okay, thanks. Carol? I, I believe that the city should be in compliance with the Sunshine Law. 
I do think, however, we also need to think about how the city council members themselves do have some opportunity to work with each other, it seems to me, in terms of team building. And I think team building in a public forum, you know, might be a little more difficult for people to do, particularly with new members coming. I'm just throwing that out, that almost every group there is that has responsibility overall for some management of something has some opportunity to get to know each other. Uh, Khalil? All right, uh, so as a home rule community, Cleveland Heights has the ability through that ordinance to meet four times in retreat, as they call it, um, in order to discuss things of a general nature and that sort of thing, the future of the city or some such. Um, I have no use for that section of the code. I would heartily support its repeal. Um, I think that to address the concern about team building, which I think is also important in building relationships and collaborating and finding compromise, relies on those sorts of, of relationships. Um, but that's not the city's business. Team building you know, is not a public yeah. meeting. So I don't think no. that that would necessarily be affected by the repeal. So I would definitely support the repeal of that section. In fact, um, if I can find the time, then I can probably have to, I'll probably have to draft it myself um, in order to, to introduce that to my colleagues.